Alright folks, welcome back to King's Console. We'll see you some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Blueprints. Today we're going to be looking at the FR 5.56 or otherwise known as the FAMAS. Um, I've reached rank 155. Uh, probably would have reached rank 155 last night. If it wasn't for the fact that um, we were getting no XP last night. If you're one of those players, I feel your pain. Um, I was basically halfway to hitting max rank um, 155. And I couldn't get any XP at all, so it's kind of pointless. However, never mind, that's all passed. This morning I played the game, got that little bit of XP I needed, and we've unlocked the Codebreaker. So this is the uh, weapon variant for the FAMAS. I'm going to call it the FAMAS. Uh, when you hit max rank 155, you've probably seen it when you've loaded up the game, it tells you what the max rank weapon is. So let's get straight into Gunsmith and have a little look at the gun close up. Um, now, not a spectacular gun to look at in terms of it's not multi-coloured, it's not got any sort of really outstanding um, graphics on the gun, unlike some of the previous ones that we have received. However, what it does come with is a lot of attachments uh, and something, I've, uh, once again I've probably seen a lot of my gun blueprints before, um, I haven't really used a lot of these guns um, that I'm unlocking, so I'm getting a lot of these high level attachments before um, I'm even unlocking them. So just Straight away, the most noticeable thing with this gun is the shotgun barrel on the front, uh, which of course is one of these attachments I've never really used. Any of these uh, assault classes it has, like uh, smoke grenades or um, shotguns, I've only really used it, like I've hit on noob tube, um, I've only used it in gunfight when it becomes available. Um, but overall, I think it kind of makes the gun look a bit stupid. And probably what I'll do, I like the variant of the gun, um, to play the preview, I like the actual look of the gun apart from the under barrel. So I can see me using this because it's really the only um, blueprint I've got for the FAMAS but I'll take away that shotgun and probably rejig it a little bit. But overall the gun looks very tactical. Um, you can see the new attachments on there certainly add to the look with the stock. Um, but yeah, not much to look at in terms of the overall visuals of the gun apart from that under barrel um, shotgun. So let's have a look at the attachments now. Um, starting off with the, let's start with the 12 gauge shotgun underneath. So this is your oh, quite a, a high level uh, unlock. See, I probably only used this gun in um, gunfight and that's why I've not unlocked a lot. However, we do have the 12 gauge deputy. So a single fire under bar shotgun provides reliable backup for close quarters encounters. So the pro is it's an under barrel shotgun. The cons is you aim down sight speed because it's adding a bit of weight onto the, the front of the gun there. Um, I might give it a try, I'll see, but I'm particularly not fond of having those kind of attachments on weapons. So that's the first attachment. We also have the Forge Tack Ultralight. So, floated barrel uh, with a wide bore reduces weight for improved handling at the cost of muzzle velocity. So probably try to compensate that shotgun that's given you this, um, this barrel. So aim down sight speed is improved, but your bullet velocity is reduced. We then have the good old um, GI mini reflex. In fact, let's just double check. Yes, yeah, so there's only one barrel available. Um, so quite a high level uh, sight for this gun. Um, I've unlocked four, so we're, we're looking somewhere between sort of level 50 and 55. So the GI mini reflex, GI miniature reflex uh, optic features a wide thin frame for unobstructed sight picture. So it was always your precision sight picture is better, but your inline sight speed is reduced. Not by much though. Um, we have the other kind of more prominent visual uh, attachment is the stock, which is the FSS tack wrap. Um, so tactical comb add-on, streamlined for close quarters combat, gets you on target faster. So aim down sight speed is improved. So it looks like they're kind of compensating this shotgun with putting some um, aim down sight speed attachments on there. Um, kind of looks cool. It's almost like a to me it looks more like a kind of chin rest um, with that kind of pad strap around the the back of the stock. So aim down sight speed is improved and your aim stability is reduced however. And last but not least is a strange option, the fast melee perk. I suppose I should try to get you close quarters. So as you don't know, I'm sure you know fast melee already. Uh, training and executing melee manoeuvres with great speed, so melee quickness. Um, and that's it guys, that's basically what you're getting from this gun. Let's do a little bit of overview of some camouflages. So it didn't have much unlocked, but it does seem to cover the whole gun. Um, let's put on my Huntsman. So you see, it does cover the whole weapon. Uh, obviously apart from some of the barrels, but yeah, 
I like when you get camos that cover the majority of the gun. Um, get rid of that black tactical if you don't want to have the black tactical. Um, let's just have a little play around with the, the gunsmith, see what we can come up with. So, personally, I don't want any form of underbar, so I'll put the commando foregrip on there. Um, I don't know really what else we've got because I say I've quite limited to my options. Probably the muzzle. I think the stabilisation would probably work better in there. And the wraps. So I think that's just got five attachments, yeah. So I'll probably run with that until I can level it up a bit better. And uh, see, it's the only really FAMAS I've got. Um, I would probably take away the. Well, that looks quite nice. Um, yeah, so as always with these guns, you can amend them to however you like. If you like the look of the gun standard, then good, but um, yeah, that shotgun needs to go. It looks a lot better now, I think, for the way I've kind of modified it. Um, but that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's Dave from Consoles, saying catch again very soon for another video. Um, I've got another couple of unlocks I've done that I've still to film, but I've just recently unlocked this, literally this second, or this minute, I should say. Uh, so I thought I'll bring it to you guys and let you see what you think of the Codebreaker. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Codebreaker. Is this a, a gun you're happy with as a max level unlock, or what would you rather see? Catch you later, guys. Bye.